After the Gamecocks defeated the Bucknell Bison 17-4 in Game 1 of a doubleheader, we came back here at Carolina Stadium to take on Game 2 of the doubleheader. The South Carolina Gamecocks look to continue their winning ways against the Bucknell Bison with Jake Weinkoop on the mound. Let's check out and see if the Gamecocks will do that with Stan Smith with the analysis. Top of the first inning, and Jack Weinkoop strikes out a Bucknell batter to end the inning with three runners left on board. On to the second inning, Marcus Moody makes an incredible barehanded catch and throw to get the runner out at first base. Weinkoop finishes the second inning strong by striking out two consecutive Bucknell batters. In the bottom of the second, Connor Bright hits a shot into left field. The Bucknell outfielder wasn't able to make the grab and Bright managed to get a double. Two batters later, Tanner English singled to left and scored another run for the Gamecocks, making the score two to nothing. Marcus Mooney hit a sack bunt, scoring the runner on third and making it three to nothing. The next batter was Max Schrock, who singled into right field and brought home another run for South Carolina. Schrock showed his wheels by stealing second base. One is good, two is better. Schrock steals third, his second stolen base of the inning. In the third inning, Bucknell showed some life as Corey Furman blasted a home run into right field. The Bison weren't finished as John Mayer uses more than half of his heart to hit this shot into left field, scoring another run, cutting the Gamecocks lead to two. However, Bucknell's two-run inning would come to an end as D.C. Arendas ends the inning with his throw to first. Bucknell pitcher Dan Weigel would throw some heat in the fourth inning as he strikes out Tanner English, then Max Schrock. Jack Weinkoop would say, whatever you can do, I can do better as he strikes out Justin Meyer to end the fifth. Bottom of the fifth, Grayson Griner hits a deep ball to center, and he brought home two runs, making the score 6-2. to two. The Gamecocks brought in a new pitcher, Kurt Britt, and he strikes out two more Bison. In the seventh inning, Tanner English hits the ball to deep left center, bringing home Arendas and Bright, and extended the South Carolina lead to 8-2. to two. To the bottom of the eighth, Connor Bright singles to center and scores two more runs, making it 10-2 Gamecocks. Same inning, English would come back to single into left field, bringing home another pair of runners, making the score 12-2 South Carolina. Top of the ninth, the game went in on a pop fly to Mooney, and the final score being 12 to two. The Gamecocks accumulated 13 strikeouts from their pitchers. Jack Weinkoop picked up the W for the Gamecocks while Dan Weigel drops to 0-1 for Bucknell, and the Gamecocks capped off a doubleheader sweep against the Bison. Back to you, Brian. Thanks, Dan. Tanner English had a huge game for the Gamecocks, registering five RBIs, which is a career high for the outfielder. He and the rest of the Gamecocks look to sweep the Bison Sunday here at Carolina Stadium at 1230. For Capital City Sports, and on a chilly night here in Carolina Stadium, I'm Brian Principe.